Next thing is a baseball player. You always want to make sure you stretch out your upper body, your shoulder, different things like that because when we throw, we're going to get tense and we got to make sure we stretch. So before you start practice or before you move into your speed and agility things, it's always nice. The more you can stretch your arm, the better you're going to be. So the first move is you're going to get with your partner here. You're going to take your arms behind her back. His hands are facing each other. You're going to get underneath his wrists and you're going to go up with it. So you're going to get right here. He's going to feel that in the front side of his shoulders, a little bit in his chest and down his biceps if he's tight. Good, hold that for about 15, 20 seconds. Let him shake it down, and we're gonna take it up there again. As you start lifting, you get into more advanced levels of baseball, you're gonna start working your biceps. You're gonna start lifting with your chest. A lot of the time, you're gonna get tight through this area, so this stretch is very important. If you can only get here and you're bound, you really gotta start stretching. You're gonna hurt your arm when you throw. Good. Now you want to take your throwing arm side. We're going to work on external and internal rotation, all right? So it's important here, when I stretch him, he's in line with his shoulder. He's not here, and I don't have him high. I have him right in line with the shoulder, okay? I'm going to support his elbow here, and we're going to roll on back. Take it right to the tension, and don't take it any farther. We don't want to hurt anybody. Just get it right where the tension's at. Take him forward. Let him relax a little, take him back into it. We're gonna go two on each of these, okay? So this time he's already farther than he was the time before. That's what we need to work on. Good, now we're gonna go internal rotation. Now the big thing here is a lot of guys will let their shoulder blade roll forward and they look like they're very flexible because they're rolled all the way around. What we wanna do is maintain a big chest as we stretch, so we're actually stretching the shoulder here. So relax here, rotate in, Now let your shoulder roll forward. See how we can really roll forward around here? Because his shoulder is now rolled up and we're not actually stretching here, his shoulder blades come up. So if he sinks down, keeps a big chest, relax the shoulder, now we're right here in the stretch, okay? Again, about 15, 20 second hold. Have him come on out, let him move his arm around a little bit and we'll get another one. Good. 